Hi everyone, Sam Mackay here from Enterprise DNA. Just want to show you a unique use of ranking the ranking function top end to showcase who your top clients are over multiple periods, right? Um, so let's just dive into it. Uh, I've got. Let's just have a look at what I what we might you know ordinarily have from a visualization perspective if we didn't didn't use this technique, right? So we could create a visualization like this where we'd look at all of our clients right over, um, you know, based on the context that we have selected, we're looking at all our clients and how they have um, performed over time from a revenue perspective. Then I could also get a, another visualization here and I could bring in, I've got some logic here for revenue last year, just using a simple date add function. Um, I could bring that in here and I could showcase it this way, right? But what if we want to drill down into this? What if we don't want to see all of our customers? Because this can be a little bit overwhelming sometimes, right? Maybe we only want to look at uh, a few of our customers or we want to visualize it in a slightly different way. So what we can do, what we can do is we can utilize uh, top end to be able to just isolate the, 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 the key customers that we want to have a look at, right? And we can, we can also um, showcase in the visualizations, you know, some unique um, values. Maybe, maybe we want to have a look at our, our current sales of our top five customers, but we want to have a look at our current sales of our top five customers last year, for example. Okay, so there's some unique ways that you could you could um, utilize these sort of formulas. Okay, so let's just quickly um, create the formula itself. I'm going to do it as uh, as we're as we're recording here. So, uh, so I'm going to go top five customers ty for this year. So top five customers ty. Okay, and then I'm going to go calculate. All right, I'm just going to type it out pretty quickly, and then I'm going to go revenue total revenue. Then I'm going to use top end here. Okay, so remember top end. Uh, is a table function, okay? So you can put it in the in the um, filtering area of calculate, okay? And then I'm going to go top in uh, five, right? Top five. I want to see top five. Then I want to have a look through all of my customers. So I'm going to use I'm going to use all here. I can just go all, and then I'll look through all of my customer. Uh, we can use customer names here. That's fine. Um, then I'm going to uh, I'm going to order this by total revenue, okay? Then I'm going to go uh, descending, I think. Is it descending? Yep, okay, I think it is. Then what we need to do after this, though, is we need to, because what happens is we remove the context from customers here, right? But if we only want to show the top five, what we need to do is we need to actually bring our um, customer context back okay so I'm just going to use values here like that to bring it back okay now if I create this visualization up here let's have a look at it so I'm going to bring in my customers like this right so now I am only showing my top five customers right instead of all of my customers then, I mean, there's, there's lots of ways we could, like what I would probably do here as well to simplify it is I would probably put in data labels here. Um, none, and then I would go inside. Um, probably need to format it as well. So we can make it look pretty compelling, right? Okay, so then how do we reuse this? I mean, the first, actually the first thing I'm gonna do, I wanna, I wanna really highlight um, how important formatting uh, formulas are, right? And so I'm going to quickly navigate here to the DAX cleanup tool, just, just to show, just to, just to show, I think we're pretty probably pretty close to how I would format it anyway, or how this would format it, but I'm just gonna copy my code into here, okay? If you're not using this tool, please use it. It just makes um, the formatting of your formulas that much more um, easier to understand and for you to review later on, right? So I just copied in, go format. Um, doesn't change it too much, which is all right. And then I'm just going to go and copy. We've, we've, we've worked really hard to make it super easy to just pop it in there, take it back out. Happens just like that. Um, and then you get a good format. This is pretty simple formula, right? So not, not, nothing too huge needs to, needs to be done there, but on bigger formulas makes a huge difference. Okay. So, um, okay, so now now we've got a good format. We've got the logic that we want. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to say, okay, 
I want to have a look at my top five customers sales. Um, I want to have, I want to have a look at my top five customers, right? Um, um, but I want to see the customers. I want to see the sales, the revenue of this year, but I want to um, rank it based on the revenue from last year, right? Um, top five customers uh, last year rev, right? Now, all I need to do here is change the logic within here. So I'm instead of going revenue, I'm going to go revenue last year, right? So I'm still going to show this as revenue, but we're going to rank our customers based on their last year revenue, okay? Then I'm going to push OK. Then I can bring this in like so. Maybe we want to just make this a little bit smaller. And bring in this new formula like, like that. So it's interesting, only two have come up here. Now why is that? Why is that? Now this is a, this is a, the, the logic itself looks right to me. So um, so this is a, it's a good idea for us to just have a quick audit of this, right? So I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to turn this into a table. And it could be because of the demo data set potentially. So um, let me just format this. So if we bring all of these um, data points in here, because these, these formulas will work within tables as well. So I'll just bring in revenue last year and I'll bring in my top five here. So if we filter this, aha. Uh -huh. So it is looking at the top five, but the interesting thing is, is that the customers who were in the top five last year was zero and that well, there's nothing so that's why they're not actually appearing here so i wonder if we just filter this and see what happens right okay so it's not let's let's have a look at a wider different time frame see if we can correct it okay so it's an incomplete it's a little bit of an incomplete data set um so that's that's probably why so you're seeing here we've got large revenue last year for this particular customer but they've made no revenue this in the current year so that's why it's not showing up so the logic itself actually works i mean if you wanted to um you, you can just play around with the inputs in here i mean you could put in uh, if you want you can put revenue last year uh numbers so so that's this is obviously going to give us a um this is going to give us a full number right and this is how we can actually compare top five totally compare what the sales were last year for the top five customers and what they uh, were for the top five customers this year right so let's just fix this up. So you're going to get a full list, right? And this is this is a dynamic list as well. So we change to a different, say, region, or we change to what's this is our, this is our channel filter, right? Uh, we can click it like this way as well. So we would just need to make sure that we've got edit interactions working, like so. So great technique, right? Something so you could you could use this in many different ways. Um, you know, you could pro you could potentially even use this. Uh, you know, one one way I think of uh, this is if, say you wanted to compare um, how customers performed one um, time period to a different time period, and you wanted to visualize it across all the different customers. So say, for instance, you want to you wanted to say, okay, um, was a customer in top five or top top thirty customers one year, and were they in top thirty customers the next year? Well, you could quite easily match up um, uh, match up logic like this and then create a sort of true or false um, piece of logic that you could embed into a um, into the conditional formatting part of a, a visualization so I show, I've showcased that recently and I really like um, how how there's just so many different ways you can visualize things using using the conditional formatting um, rules within charts now so 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 powerful okay so I'm gonna round things off there hopefully you like that technique um, it's a good one, uh, one that you can use in lots of different ways, okay? Okay, all the all the best if you like this content. Um, definitely throw the video a like, appreciate it as always. And don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV. Okay, all the best.